In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitronium ion NO2+. As always, the first thing we need to do is count up the number of valence electrons. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Oxygen has six. But because we have two oxygen atoms in NO2+, we need to multiply it by two. Now, the overall charge of this polyatomic ion is positive which means we need to reduce the number of electrons by one. So we have five plus six times two, which is 12 minus one. Five plus 12 is 17. 17 minus one is 16. Now 16 is the multiple of eight. Whenever the number of valence electrons in a polyatomic ion is equal to a multiple of eight, that tells you that there's not gonna be any lone pairs on the central atom, in this case, the central nitrogen atom. And this works if there's no hydrogen atoms around. So when drawing the Lewis structure, we're gonna have a linear, let me say that again, we're gonna have a linear molecular geometry. Now, nitrogen wants to have eight electrons around it. It wants to satisfy the octet rule. But since we can't have any lone pairs, we need to have four bonds. Keep in mind, each bond represents two electrons. So this is going to be two, four, six, eight. So in this example, nitrogen has eight electrons around it. Now, we also want the oxygen atoms to have eight electrons around it. We want it to obey the octet rule. Right now, each oxygen atom has two bonds or four electrons. So to get to eight, we need to add two lone pairs to each oxygen atom. So right now we have a total of 16 valence electrons. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So this is the Lewis structure of NO2 plus, the nitronium ion. Now we need to deal with this positive charge which element in this structure has a positive formal charge? Well, chances are you can guess what it is, but let's use the formula for calculating formal charge. It's going to be equal to the valence electrons minus the bonds plus the dots. So let's start with oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons, and in this structure, it has two bonds, four dots, two lone pairs is equal to four dots. So this is six minus six. So the oxygen atoms are neutral in charge. Now, in the case of nitrogen, it has five valence electrons, four bonds, no dots. So five minus four is plus one. So therefore it is the nitrogen atom that bears the positive formal charge in the nitronium ion Lewis structure. So it's important to be familiar with that equation because when you draw the Lewis structure of a certain polyatomic ion, you could determine which element in that ion carries the formal charge. Now we talked about the molecular geometry of this particular ion. We said that it has a linear shape. It looks very similar to carbon dioxide. The only difference is this ion has a charge. Carbon dioxide is neutral. The hybridization along the central nitrogen atom is sp. It's sp hybridized. An sp hybrid orbital is basically a mixture of 1s orbital and 1p orbital. And the bond angle for a linear molecular shape is 180 degrees. That's the bond angle of a straight line. Now, as for resonance structures, there really isn't any stable resonance structures that we can draw with the nitronium ion. This here is the best Lewis structure for it. And so that's basically it for this video. And that's all we can do. So now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitronium ion NO2+. You know its molecular geometry, you know its bond angle, and its hybridization. Now I do have some other videos on Lewis structures. If you just do a YouTube search, Let's say if you want to draw the Lewis structure of sulfate, just type in sulfate, Lewis structure, organic chemistry tutor, 
and the videos that I have on it should come up. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for those of you who really value this video. Thanks again for watching.